Headshots only do extra damage if their shield is broken. This means you should aim for center of mass while they have their shields for easier shots, and then go for a headshot to quickly finish them off once the shields are finally broken. The exception here is of course with sniper rifles that do damage in excess of the total shield, which is lethal when that excess damage hits the head but not the body. Focus on your target. This may sound obvious, but there is a huge difference between looking at something and focusing on something. Take this ceiling fan for example. If you look at the blades, they are a blur spinning around. But if you focus on a single blade, you can follow around and the fan feels like it's spinning slower. The same is true in Halo. If you are autopiloting and just looking at enemies, their movement can feel fast and erratic. But if you focus on them, suddenly everything seems to slow down. Tracking them feels much easier and you can absorb visual cues about their movements, what they're doing and where they want to go. For better accuracy when zooming in with weapons, we recommend setting up your scope sensitivities with focal length scaling. To quickly explain what this is, the Mouse Sensitivity YouTube channel has a great example. Essentially, this means if you were looking at a target with your hip fire, and then used a 2x scope and step twice as far back, so the target appears the same size in both examples, it would then take the same amount of mouse movement in both scenarios to track that target. By default in Halo Infinite, your shorter range zooms like the Assault Rifle and Battle Rifle are too slow, so it would take more mouse movement compared to hipfire in that example we just covered. Alternatively, the long range sniper scopes are too fast and would take less mouse movement compared to hipfire. Unfortunately, the sensitivity steps are quite large in Halo Infinite, so the closest you can get to focal length scaling is with these following values. We are often our own worst enemy when it comes to aiming. Our movement in particular regularly throws it off. Strafing during fights is important to avoid damage, but it can also be used to improve your accuracy. Coordinating your strafing with your mouse movements while the enemy is also strafing causes many variables to clash which can make aiming difficult. Considering everyone moves at the same speed in Halo, mirroring movement is a great way to land shots for free. If you copy the enemy's movement, you don't need to move your crosshair at all. Outside of mirroring, it is helpful to be conscientious of when you are changing directions so you can sync up your movements with your mouse and not sabotage your own aim. The two different inputs should work together rather than individually. Make sure your monitor is running at its highest refresh rate. Right click on your desktop and go to display settings. Scroll down to advanced display settings and select the highest refresh rate there. Open up Halo and head to video settings. Ensure you are running at 100% resolution scale and VSync is turned off. Now the biggest boost to your frames will come from changing the minimum and maximum frame rates. Setting the minimum frame rate to off or using any of the other options, even custom, is not sufficient and will still tank your frames. Copy and paste this into your file explorer and open spec control settings with notepad. Navigate to minimum and target frame rate and set them to an arbitrarily high number like 500. Save and close it, reopen Halo and head to video settings again. The low graphic preset does a great job of improving frames, so for the most part, you can just set and forget it. But if you want to tweak a few other things here and there for personal preference, go ahead. Importantly, you may want to change your sharpening to 100% for a crisper image without sacrificing any frames. The minimum and maximum frame rate change above can cause some blurriness as the game tries to reach your targeted frame rate, and sharpening does a great job of nullifying this effect. And finally, turn off blur, screen shake, exposure, full screen effects, and speed lines. Moving to the UI settings, you can set the horizontal and vertical offset to minus 100% and the depth offset to 100% for each weapon type to greatly reduce how much space they take up on screen. Improving your aim through gameplay alone can be a slow and tedious process spanning hundreds or even thousands of hours. To greatly accelerate improvements to your aim, check out our Halo playlist in Kovacs and drill specific skills without the downtime and distractions that come with normal gameplay. And there we have it, 
These are our top 5 tips and tricks for improving your aim in Halo Infinite. Let us know which is your favorite in the comments below. Subscribe for more content like this and we'll catch you in the next one.